something I've never seen before in my two decades plus of uh, digitizing film and videotape or film um, is these are the Technicolor Magic cartridge, but um, I've seen loads of these because I do them, but this is regular eight mil. So these are the super eights. Normally, yeah, it looks super eight, but these are just eight millimeter. So the super eights, as I always see them, uh, you can tell the difference by the size and the holes on the, do you see the, the difference there? It's kind of hard to tell with the light, but um, yeah, there you go, it's a bit better. So yeah, you can see the, uh, the size of the holes are bigger on regular eight. Um, and um, they're in a clear case. And these have like a plastic pullout that you, uh, you know, yank them out of and then open them up. And then the only way to transfer these is they have to be spliced onto uh, reels because all of the transfer machines, you know, everything is on reels. So um, they have to be um, cut. They run on a loop. So they kind of ran through a projector like, um, Kind of like this. Um, this is a UMIG uh, R2000. And so the real, basically these things used to fit in like here, like a VCR and it would project onto a screen. So it kind of be like a VCR. Um, but uh, yeah, nowadays, well, they've got to be cut and then spliced and rewound clean they're pretty dirty uh, this particular customer had just stumbled across these um in their parents house and they are from um instant home movie library yeah so when you open them up um they're right here so he didn't even know they existed so there's going to be some good stuff and they've got um notes on them what's that say Dale Drunk. Oh, that's a good start. Um, <laughs> yeah, Thanksgiving, Karen's kids. I think one of them had a date on it. Let's see. This cartridge may stick. Um, 19, 1984. Hmm. Um, I think a couple of these said 1960 something. But yeah, they're old um, and they all need to be broken open spliced onto reels i do have other videos um where i am actually showing you how to do all this stuff or if you're interested in getting it done um you know gives you a backstory into how it's done which is what you need to see when you are handing this stuff over to a company because most of the time they're just they're not showing you how they transfer the film usually they're just running it through a projector and filming it off a piece of paper off the wall um, assume every company does that unless they have videos showing you their equipment and how they do it and all that kind of good stuff and also like i say in all my videos you got to see 5.0 on google hundreds of reviews and do not fall for all these Facebook and Instagram ads through Legacy Box, Kodak Digitizing, 